Welcome back to another tier ranking video. Today we're talking all things chenille yarn. In my last tier ranking video about value yarns, I mentioned at the end of the video that I'd love to film one of these about chenille yarns. And I heard you loud and clear in the comments. There were so many of you that wanted to see this video, so I knew I had to film it for you. So here we are. A few of you also mentioned in the comments of that value yarn video that you would love to see some close-ups of each yarn that I'm talking about. So I'm going to try to include that in this video. Every yarn that I do have on hand I'll show you a close-up and that sort of thing. It is just such a lovely gloomy morning here in Southern California. I've got my iced latte and my triangle cup. If you know, you know. And we're just gonna have some fun today. So feel free to grab yourself a drink, your crochet project, whatever you need, and let's just get into the tiers. Okay, so I've got my tier list all set up. I have my laptop right here. So if you see me looking down a little bit throughout this video, that is what I'm doing there. And as usual, we've got to go with the puns for our tier list because because this wouldn't be a hooks and healers tier list ranking if we didn't have any puns, let's be real. <clears throat> We're keeping our rankings relatively similar in this video to past tier ranking videos that I've filmed, starting with the best category, which is I'm Hooked. These are the yarns that I reach for time and time again. They're my favorite chenille yarns. I absolutely love making all sorts of plushies with them, and I highly recommend them. They're just the best, and I'm sure a lot of you will agree with me. The second best is Wooly Good. These are yarns that are really good, and usually there's a thing or two about them that I don't particularly love, and I'll share that with you and tell you why I don't love that thing so much, but they're still really good you know they're wooly good and when it comes to the chenille yarns in this category the good will still very much outweigh the bad so i changed up the title for our third ranking here this one's called there's potential and there's a reason why i changed this one it's because there are a few yarns on this list that i have not tried and i'm kind of reserving them for this spot unless i have some other opinion one way or another about them but this is reserved for yarns that either i haven't tried or they can be good or maybe i should revisit them in the future kind of that sort of thing and I'll provide more explanation as we go on. And our final category is a real crochet. This category is reserved for the yarns that I personally do not buy. I don't love working with these yarns. I don't like working with these yarns. Simply put, I just have some not so great thoughts and feelings about the yarns in this category specifically. And just as a reminder, like other tier rankings I filmed in the past, this is purely based off of my own opinion and experience and you're completely welcome to have your own. Sometimes for a lot of these, I've just tried them once or twice and I had a not great experience and that's the reason for my rating so this is by no means the end all be all ranking of these yarns this is more just for fun and based off of my opinion so I'm definitely curious to hear about your opinions in the comments below we had some really great discourse in my value yarn video I really loved reading through the comments on that video there was just a very respectful discourse happening in the comments and that's one thing I really appreciate about our community is nobody gets too angry if we call out their favorite yarn and say that we don't like like it or anything like that so I always love to hear what you think about my tier ranking and how you would rank these yarns because I just find it so interesting and I just love hearing about them and just like anything creative or artistic we all have our different tastes and visions and things like that and I think that is honestly one of my favorite parts about crochet so I think that's enough housekeeping and with all of that being said I think we're ready to go ahead and dive into our tier ranking so let's get started so first on our list is Bernat Velvet this is a yarn that I do have in my stash but I don't don't find myself reaching for very often and I think that's likely because I've mentioned in my last video I don't really love shiny yarn I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, okay? I just, I don't find myself reaching for shiny yarns. I like the more like flat muted things that are just normal. I don't know if that makes sense. But velvet is just sort of a shiny yarn. I mean, how else can we put it, right? But with that being said, every time I have worked with it, I'm pleasantly surprised. So I'm filming me making this swatch after I already filmed the tier ranking, but I'm just popping in to let you know that I actually really like working with this. I definitely just needed to give it a second chance, but I mean, look at how pretty this is. This is so fun. I want to make a shrimp with this. <laughs> anyway, back to the video. And I do find it really fun to work with. It's super soft. And that's one of my favorite things about chenille yarn is just, it's kind of relaxing to work with. It just glides pretty well and it's soft. You don't really have any harsh burns like you would have with <coughs> Red Heart Super Saver. Who said that? That wasn't me. I don't know. 
So with that being said, I think we're going to go ahead and put Bernat Velvet in Wooly Good. I would like to try this yarn again in the future. I literally have it in my stash, so it's just a matter of getting it out and trying it again. I know that Premiere also makes Retro Velvet, which is super pretty and comes in a ton of different colors. So I think I should try that soon and maybe use one of my patterns and make something with velvet. I think it'd be fun. I don't know if the shiny thing is just me or not, but there's just something about the shine that it just like... It gives me like this ick, but I feel like with velvet, we can make an exception, right? Like I think, I think me and velvet can be okay. Our next yarn is Loops and Threads Chenille Home Slim. And I actually really love this yarn. I love how it comes in some neutral colors that are really pretty and sort of muted, I guess. Like this green that I have here on my tier list. You don't really see those types of colors a lot with chenille yarns, but I think they're really nice for a lot of like the mama made minis patterns, like those knotted loveys. I just love that neutral type of look. And that's one of my favorite things about the, what is this called? I keep forgetting what it's called. Chenille Home Slim, yeah. So they have a really awesome color selection if you're more of a neutral girly like myself. I don't know, honestly. Some days I'm a neutral girly and other days I'm just a Lisa Frank girly, let me tell you. I recently made a really cute little toad with this yarn and I just love the way he turned out. I feel like this green is so perfect for a little toad and also look at the little booty on my toad. I mean, come on. I'll have the pattern linked below if you're curious. It's a free pattern and I just love it. But in all honesty, this is a really great yarn and I don't have any real critiques for it. I love working with it. It's super soft and I find it just very relaxing to crochet with. But I will say whenever I do go to Michael's, I tend to like never see it or they'll have one color and that's it. And you know, I would say overall my Michael's is pretty well stocked, but it's just rare that I do kind of see this there. So for that reason, I'm going to put it in Wooly Good. It is a really good yarn to work with. I highly recommend it, but I do have problems finding it in the wild. So I'll just throw that out there. I mean, it's still worth it. It. When you do find it, I recommend picking it up for sure. So our next yarn is Loops and Threads Sweet Snuggles. And I just quickly want to mention there is a difference between Sweet Snuggles and Sweet Snuggles Light. For those of you who are unfamiliar, Sweet Snuggles is a lot thicker than Sweet Snuggles Light. Hang on, what is the size difference? One second. I totally had to look that up really quick. So Sweet Snuggles, the one we're talking about right now, is a weight seven jumbo yarn. And then Sweet Snuggles Light, which we're going to talk about in a little bit, is a weight six. And look, I'm going to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of working with jumbo yarns. I just feel like it's so big and so clunky to work with. And it always just turns out as like this massive creature that I've crocheted. It's usually far too big than anything I would ever personally need. But with that being said, I know there's a lot of really cute patterns that you can make with a jumbo yarn if you are trying to crochet something really large and you're trying to do it quicker. Like for example, I know Crochet by Jenna has a really cute human sized turtle pattern and she uses jumbo yarn for that. I'm pretty sure because it just helps to work up quicker. So for that reason, I'm going to put this in There's Crotential. It's not for me personally, but there is a place for it. Again, it's one of those things that can be really useful if you're trying to make something really big and you're trying to do it quicker. But for me personally, I just find that it's kind of a little bit too big for anything that I would ever practically make. I don't know. Those are just my thoughts. It's still a good yarn. It's still a great. The sun is starting to come out a little bit. So hopefully the light doesn't get too crazy here in the next couple of minutes. But moving on, our next yarn is Hobie Honey Bunny. And I actually had the pleasure of designing a pattern with Hobie using this yarn. And that pattern is Wade the Umbrella Octopus. And I think he's adorable. And I had so much fun working with this yarn to create this pattern. Come to think of it, I actually designed one of my other crochet patterns with Hobie Honey Bunny, Oakley the Acorn. He's my really cute little like hello plush acorn design that I have in my Etsy shop. And I designed that with Hobie Honey Bunny as well. So you might be able to tell I'm quite a fan of Honey Bunny. Personally, I just feel like this is sort of your standard chenille yarn, which is why I love designing crochet patterns with it because it's most similar to what a wide variety of people can find. So I think it makes for a great pattern designing yarn. But with that being said, I'm going to put Hobie Honey Bunny into Wooly Good. The only reason why they're here and not in I'm Hooked is just because they ship out of Copenhagen. It's a pretty long ways to get to me here in Southern California. And I tend to find that I have to buy quite a bit of yarn for me to feel like that shipping is worth it. It just feels like it takes a while to ship, which is to no fault of their own. The yarn is coming from pretty far away. So I tend to order from places where I know it's gonna be a little bit quicker, which I'll share later in 
in this list, but I do really love Hobie's yarn though. I just recently filmed a video of me crocheting a sweater with Hobie Happy Place, which is in collaboration with Tony from TL Yarn Crafts, and that has to be one of my new favorite yarns. So my advice to you is if you do want to order from Hobie, I recommend just kind of buying in bulk and getting everything you think you would want for the next few months and having it shipped to you. At least if you're here in the United States like I am, I know I have friends who live in Denmark and it's a lot easier for them to get it much quicker, but at least for me here, it takes a little while, I guess. So now we have to talk about Premier Bloom Chenille. And before I get started, I wanna preface, I have not tried this yarn yet, but I had to include it on this list because I feel like it's so beautiful and it's just one of those that I need to try. Like, why have I not tried it? Being an amigurumi pattern designer, I just feel like it's sort of something I need to have tried by now. With that being said, I think we're gonna put it in There's Credential because it's hard to fully say without me personally having tried it, but I really love the kind of speckled effect of this one. I think it's so cute and perfect for spring, perfect for all sorts of, you know, little bunnies or flowers or really just anything spring and pastel related you can make so many cute little designs with this I also love how it's speckled so it's kind of shown throughout the entire project instead of being sort of like striping I guess but with all of that being said I definitely need to get my hands on this soon I need to try it out for you and maybe design a pattern with it because I just love the way it looks I love the pastel kind of cutesy vibe that it has up next we have big twist posh and boy am I excited to talk with you about this yarn so I recently bought big twist posh I want to say about a month ago it hasn't been out for very long but I've definitely heard mixed things on this yarn I've heard some people love it some people not so much and for me personally this has to be one of my new favorite yarns to work with especially if you're a crochet pattern designer it's really really awesome to design with because if you're frogging and going back in your work normally when you're crocheting on the groomy you're gonna have a bunch of fluff everywhere one of my favorite parts about this yarn is that it barely sheds if at all and it just has a really great stitch definition that I personally love to see in my amigurumi creations and you might be able to tell just hearing my enthusiasm while I'm talking about this that this one has to go and I'm hooked I really love the colors I love the names of the colors in this collection they're so cute and it's really easy to find at your Joann's I personally see it all the time at least right now I've had no issue finding this yarn and it's just a good one it's just a really really good one and if you love amigurumi it's always so nice to see a new type of like chenille plush yarn that comes out because it just gives you so many ideas for projects or designs if you like to design and this yarn really does that for me. I also love making my cat little toys with this yarn because it does stand up a little bit better. I made him these little fish toys with them and you could put like catnip and stuff in there and it just stands up really well. It's definitely a more sturdy yarn. I really feel like Allison from Wonder Crochet perfectly described this yarn in her video when she said that it's sort of a mix between Premier Parfait Chunky and Bernat blanket and I completely agree with that and I just found that to be like the perfect description of what this yarn is like and for that reason I just highly recommend it I love working with it designing with it it's great I'm currently designing a pattern with it right now but we'll just have to stay tuned for that and see what happens I don't know you heard it here first though so we'll see we'll see we'll see Big Twist Posh leads us quite nicely into our next yarn, which is Bernat Blanket. And you know, I don't know if Bernat Blanket is technically a chenille yarn. I don't think it is. I don't know, maybe it is, but I feel like this is kind of the right list to include it on. And where do I start with this yarn? So for starters, I feel like this is the first yarn that I really started to make plushies with, I guess. I'm pretty sure it's also one of the more accessible yarns on this list. I'm pretty sure it's carried at both Michael's and Joann's, which is very helpful. But with that being said, I remember filming a vlog this past fall of me making a pumpkin pie pillow and I was using this yarn, okay? And you can go watch this video back. I'm pretty sure I said it in the video. My hands were hurting so bad after I made this pillow and I think it's just because this is more of a rough chenille yarn, I I guess which has its place for sure it definitely holds up better in the wash and things like that but if you're just trying to make something and relax and that sort of thing I find that Bernat blanket is just not enjoyable to work with I don't enjoy the process of making things with Bernat blanket but I will say it's definitely the more sturdy chenille ish option I guess 
And with all of that being said, I think it has to go in a real crochet just for me personally, okay? For me personally, it's just not my favorite to work with. And again, okay, I've still made some really cute things with this yarn. I made a bunch of those little mushroom pillows that you see in my craft room. I love them. I think they're so fun, but I just don't enjoy the process of working with this yarn. And that's really the only reason for my braiding here. It's just not something I enjoy. I enjoy the outcome, not the process. And for me, crafting and crocheting really is about the process and sort of like the meditative aspect. So you, you get what I'm saying, I think, hopefully, I don't know, but that's where it's going and I'm sorry. We're gonna make a smooth recovery from that last one and move on to Loops and Threads, Sweet Snuggles Light. And this one's going straight to I'm Hooked. I love this yarn. Sweet Snuggles Light, again, is the thinner version of the Sweet Snuggles yarn, which is a weight seven. This one's a weight six. And I love the weight six. I find it's like the perfect size to make all sorts of different plushies with. I just love working with this yarn. But at the same time, I've gotta be real with you. You know, this yarn, it does shed a lot. Like whenever I'm crocheting on the couch and I get up my husband will always look at me like because I'll just be covered in all the little shedding pieces that come off of this yarn and it's honestly a disaster as if I don't have to vacuum enough in my house with two dogs and a cat I mean this yarn takes it to a whole other level it's almost like having an extra dog in my house when I'm designing a pattern while I'm working with this yarn it's you know we got to keep it real here and that is a major downside to this yarn but with that being said, I just really love the size of it. I find that it's just a little bit thicker than Parfait Chunky, so it can be great for a lot of that like in-between stuff that I want to make, if that makes sense. I love it. It's one of the mainstays in my collection, and I highly, highly recommend this chenille yarn. So next, we have to talk about the Loops and Threads Skinny Chenille. This is a brand new yarn that just came out from Michaels, and I have not gotten my hands on it. Again, this is one of those yarns that I have not tried. But with that being said, I do feel like the chenille yarn market is missing a lighter weight chenille yarn. I feel like there's definitely a purpose for that. A lot of crocheters really love to make super tiny little plushies and this yarn would be great for that sort of thing. And I just feel like it's definitely, definitely needed in one of the big box craft stores. So I'm really glad to see them coming out with this sort of thing. It also comes in a bunch of really pretty speckled colors, which I just love like kind of that speckled look. I think you can do so many really cool things in your projects with this yarn. But I will say I have not seen this yarn at any of my local so I'm still patiently waiting for it to fully roll out, I guess. So of course, this also has to go in. There's credential. I can't give this an honest review if I haven't tried it, right? So... But with that being said, I'm very much looking forward to it and I'm fairly confident that this is gonna be an awesome yarn. So if you see it at your local Michaels, you'll wanna be sure that you swipe this one up because I'm jealous. Next up, we have Premier Pixie Dust Brights. And honestly, I hadn't heard anything about this yarn until I saw Jenna from Crochet by Jenna talking about it in one of her vlogs recently. I forget exactly what she was making. It might've been like a Nessie or a little turtle or something like that. But I think this yarn is super unique because it's a chenille style yarn, but it's super fluffy looking. And I think it would just be so fun to make something with this yarn because it gives it that really cozy, fluffy appearance. So yesterday I placed a huge order from Premier for this yarn I got so much of it and I'm so excited to try it and share my thoughts on it with you but again we haven't tried this one so it's got to go in there's credential but with that being said sorry if you can hear Bush snoring he's like actually snoring back there but you know the king is happy so we gotta let him live as I was saying with all of that being said, I do feel very confidently that this yarn is really great because I trust Jenna wholeheartedly and she said she loves it and we tend to have the same taste it seems like, so I believe I will too. Next up is a brand new yarn from Premier. This is Premier Gumdrop and I'm so excited about this yarn. Um, I can't say too much about it yet. All I'm gonna say is you should definitely go follow me over on Instagram so you can see a little bit more about my thoughts and opinions on this yarn, but I'm gonna give you a bit of a spoiler. This one is going in I'm hooked it's so pretty i absolutely love all the colors in this and i just think there's so many fun things that you can do with this yarn i'm gonna have an instagram reel coming out of me working with premiere gumdrop soon so i don't know you're gonna have to see what i make and look as i do with these videos I saved the best for last. There's a reason why the last is always in the last spot in these videos, and it's because it is my all-time favorite of this category. We cannot deny it. We cannot deny the Premier Parfait Chunky is the best of the best. It's going straight to I'm Hooked. Look, let me tell you, it's the best. They have so many colors. They're so kind. I love my friends over at Premier. They're just the best, and they're just based out of North Carolina, so it ships to me so quickly. I love them, and let's be 
real. It's like the majority of what I have in my stash. It's what most of my patterns are made out of and I just love it, you know? There's a reason why Premier Parfait Chunky is so popular. People love it and it's for a very good reason. There's so many awesome colors. It's so fun to work with. It's relatively inexpensive and it's just the best. I know most of my Amigurumi crochet pattern designer friends also love working with this yarn. It's just so easily accessible. It's so pretty. There's so many colors and it's just really like the best of everything in my opinion. It's just so good and you're gonna have to trust me on this one, but I don't know. I'm curious to know what you think and the comments are always open for your thoughts and opinions as always because I love to hear them. It's seriously like my favorite thing to do. Like I love posting these videos and just grabbing my cup of coffee and reading everything that you guys have to say about my thoughts, what your thoughts are, and all of that sort of stuff. So here's my final tier ranking, and I'm curious to know if you agree or disagree, your thoughts and opinions, what you think about what I said. We love a good, healthy discourse in the comments, so I'm looking forward to it. I love to hear what you have to say. Also, if you like the cardigan that I'm wearing in this video, this is one of my crochet patterns. This is the Wisteria cardigan. It's relatively beginner friendly, and if you would like like to try out this pattern for yourself I'll leave a link to it below if you're curious I seriously just love this pattern it's one of my all-time favorites it's just such a good one and I highly recommend it I think it's so fun and it's just the perfect little cozy cardigan especially if you're a beginner so definitely check that out if you're curious and if you enjoyed this video and the other content I share here on my channel make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any future content from me and with all of that being said thank you so much for watching and for being here and I will see you next Monday bye